हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर दर्शन पंड्या डीएम न्यूरोलॉजी रेसिडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग ब्रिवारासिटाम सो व्हाट इज ब्रिवारासिटाम द फर्स्ट ब्रांड नेम वाज ब्रिवियक्ट दैट वाज एफडीए अप्रूव्ड इन 2017 व्हाट इज द मेकॅनिझम ऑफ ॲक्शन इट ॲक्स ऑन एसवी टू ए सायनॅप्टिक वसायकल प्रोटीन टू ए देर इज फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी टाइम्स मोर एफिनिटी टू एस वी टू ए वेन कम्पेअर टू लिवेट्रासिटाम It also has a sodium channel blocking activity. So two activities: one action on SV2A and one sodium channel blocking activity. The main indications are in adults with partial onset seizures as an add-on therapy. It is available as 10 mg, 25, 50, 75, 100 and 100 milligram oral solution and injectable forms. Dose is 50 to 200 milligram per day, used as a twice a day dose. Metabolism. it is weakly bound to plasma proteins less than or equal to 20% it is eliminated primarily by the metabolism by hepatic and extra hepatic amidase and by excretion in the urine 95% of the drug what is the titration schedule the initiation should be in relatively short titration period 25 to 50 mg per orally twice daily the discontinuation should be gradual reduce the dose by 50 mg per day on a weekly basis so what are the side effects of rivaracetam drowsiness fatigue dizziness headache mood changes and irritability though the psychiatric side effects are lesser as compared to levetracetam there are drug interactions like carbamazepine phenobarbital phenytoin rifampicin these can reduce rivaracetam levels and rivaracetam appears to elevate carbamazepin and phenytoin levels pregnancy it may cause fetal harm in animal data so what are the clinical trials there are three randomized placebo controlled trials that demonstrated significant reduction in the frequency of focal seizures from baseline when compared with placebo but there are no trials that directly compare rivaracetam to other antiepileptic medications no direct trials there is a comparison with placebo in three randomized placebo controlled trials So what is the current role in epilepsy management as an adjunct in the partial epilepsy it should not be combined with levetracetam in cases with prior exposure to levetracetam efficacy is lesser it is better tolerated than levetracetam but whether it is more effective than levetracetam that is a question of research use of rivaracetam in children and adolescent seems safe and well tolerated and immediate switch from levetracetam to rivetracetam at a ratio of 15 is to 1 is feasible thanks for listening to this lecture like share and subscribe for more updates